<laughs> Hello and welcome back to all kind of games. Today we are playing an old version of Minion Rush with Dancer and we will complete double objective mission by smashing 100 frozen objects and jumping over the obstacles 160 times. Okay, let me start the run with the freeze ray because of I don't really know whether we have multiplayer with the dancer. I know that the bonuses and power ups with her will last longer, and because of now every time in the double objectives or avoid missions, we are gonna have uh, three fruits, all so the apples, watermelons, and etc. I think that yes, it's necessary to get some uh, bonuses and power ups, some multiplayer, and of course the recommended runner. Okay, probably the first use of the freeze ray will do nothing because of you see that we activated it several seconds ago and okay no probably it will, it will be good because of you see that yes it's still on it's still active and we have uh, 31 breakthrough objects okay everything will be fine it's good that no need to re-enter uh, so yes, today is 19th of March and we already played in the new version where we completed some milestones in the special mission Lucky Day. So hope you watched it because of we have only 4 more days and uh, milestones 5, 6 and 7 to complete. So every day there will be interesting milestones, one on challenge, some favorite runners and, and of course there will be despicable ops missions like today we played in the uh, chapter 27 it was part 2 uh, okay in the double objectives you probably know but let me repeat that you have two lines two objectives two tasks combined into the one and once you complete both of them you will get the first fruit only and for the second and third fruit it's gonna be the same charge and fill the both lines to get some fruits uh, okay, now I see that we need only 30, uh, probably 39 or 40 frozen objects for the freeze ray, but even though if I activate it, because of the second line is still empty and it's not charged, this will mean that once we receive couple more frozen objects, the freeze ray will be wasted, so I don't really think that this is a good idea, and I will activate it once we uh, complete jump over stuff. And you see that, yes, we activated two times multiplayer perk for the jump overs, but freeze ray worked better. So, yes, I think that we did good choice by using the uh, multiplayer perk for the jump overs. Let's start with three freeze rays, and of course, the dancer minion with her bonuses and power up will last much longer okay 58 jump overs and probably one last head we will sec we will charge the second line and it will mean that the freeze ray will be uh, activated and collected okay let me check it no it wasn't enough so probably uh 70 75 okay how many jump overs do you want for the first fruit jump overs it's clear and obvious that we need 80 jump overs for the uh, first item first apple and okay finally let's do this okay it's done and this means that now we are free to grab the freeze ray and i hope that once we receive it we are gonna immediately have the uh, first fruit and maybe also with the second one okay now we need only breakthrough objects it will be much better to do some jump overs or near misses Okay, and this is perfect. You see, 57 uh, frozen objects and we need only 80 and 120 more jump overs. So yes, now it's much easier to receive the uh, second fruit, but the third one will be harder. So I should play smart and only activate the bonuses and power-ups we need and only do jump overs instead of slide unders and near misses. Uh, yesterday, as always, we also played in both of versions, in new and old versions. In Lucky Day, we completed some uh, milestones and one on challenge. In the old versions, we collected uh, some items, some fruits, with props, mini games, uh, with red zones and the red crosses. Uh, and about one week ago, you know, we completed entire old version walkthrough videos with level 1098, where we also upgraded our C Dog Minions outfit with golden tickets. Also, there will be some boss battles with minions who never ever before defeated some bosses so this way in the old version only we have uh, 
100 videos and 4 bosses and we will record 400 videos with every runner and every boss. Every boss we are from we recorded more than 300 videos. And yes, after we will play in the new version for the Despicable of Boss Battles to choose the uh, very rare minions such as Zodiac Bob uh, and other ones. Uh, okay, like the Racer minion. Okay, that's good. We have one more freezeway and there's a little bit to go and the jump over stuff will be also completed and we will receive uh, three fruits as we already promised. Okay, I hope that this free raid lasts longer enough to get the uh, first and only line completed. The uh, jump overs will be uh, easy to do because of with the bonuses and power ups. You can do it with the evil minion, with the shield, and with. Oh my god, this is easy! Just a little bit to go, come on, please! We have. Okay. Uh, 98 frozen objects, but it wasn't enough to uh, fill and charge the first line. This means that, yes, once we complete jump overs, we still have to run for one more freeze ray. So, four freeze rays will be necessary. Oh, what a great save! Uh, four freeze rays will be necessary to complete this double objective mission. It's a beautiful Arctic based map where we should activate later. Unfortunately, in this video, we are unable to do this. Uh, we will use a uh, minion slits and minion snowboards. Okay, I see it. Okay, the last freeze ray and the task has been completed. So this is great result, amazing progress with the dancer minion. And I think that she deserves to run one more time and activate any bonuses and power-ups, whether there will be slits or the snowboards. Okay, we have only one slit to use. So yes, now I think that it's enough for today, guys. Thanks for watching and have a nice time. See you today later on our channel. Bye-bye. Yeah, <laughs>